y'all and welcome back. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a cow print tumbler using nothing more than glitter and alcohol inks. So stay tuned. starting with a sanded tumbler. This is a 20 ounce traditional from Craft Haven. I've already put one coat of pop of color paint and cotton candy on the tumbler. I've let that dry completely and now I'm going in and adding the second coat to the tumbler. We're going to make sure everything is coated, everything stays wet because we're going to apply our glitter directly to the paint. Now I'm going in with my glitter from PDB Creative Studio. This is Sunset Boulevard. And as you can see, we're just coating the tumbler really well. We're placing glitter directly over that wet pop of color paint. And we're gonna have a perfect result once everything is glittered. In the next clip, you're going to notice that the color of glitter changes on the tumbler. Sunset Boulevard that I originally used is an opal style glitter, which caused my alcohol inks to turn green. So the tumbler is now glittered with Athena, and we are moving into adding our alcohol ink spots. I do not seal my glitter before I start adding my alcohol inks, and the reason that I don't seal the glitter is because I want to make sure that the alcohol inks actually have a chance to soak down into the glitter itself and spread out so it gives us more of that realistic cow print or cow spot look. The ink that I'm using is Void from PDB Creative Studio. If you do not have this black, I suggest you run and grab it now. It is the prettiest black alcohol ink I have ever used and I have to keep two to three bottles on hand all the time. So you can see I'm just randomly placing spots of the alcohol ink around the tumbler, giving it a chance to soak in. Trust me with this process, less is more. You want to start with smaller spots and then add more ink because if you put too big of a spot, you're not gonna be able to take that back off. Just continue going around the tumbler using your alcohol ink, adding your spots until you're happy with the placement of all of your cow spots, and then you can go into your splatters. Now you can see I'm switching over to the precision tip bottle. This allows me to just shake the bottle at the tumbler and get the little spots that are in between the main cow spots to give it a more realistic look. Let the inks dry completely. Seal the tumbler with two good coats of clear spray paint and then you can add your layers of epoxy until smooth. And that's it. Thanks for watching guys. Remember if you like this video to hit that like button. Ring the bell button to be notified every time I post a video. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. I'll see you next time.